Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about peculiarities of sex determination system in clownfish. I already made many videos about different sex determination systems. Uh, for example, most uh, known is XY sex determination system in mammals and uh, in humans also where female has two X chromosomes and uh, male has uh, one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So in our species male defines the sex of the progeny because male can produce two types of the gametes where the uh, gametes may have um, X chromosome or Y chromosome. I also explain uh, another system that we call uh, ZW. Uh, this sex determination system we can find in birds. And uh, in birds, not the male, but female defines the sex of the progeny. So female can produce two types of the gametes that contains whether Z or uh, W sex chromosome and male only can produce uh, gametes with one type of uh, sex chromosome. And yet another system is uh, X or sex determination system. Uh, we can find this system in cockroaches or grasshoppers. And in this system, if animal or insect uh, inherits two X chromosomes, uh, this means uh, female phenotype and if inherit only uh, one X chromosome this means male. Another sex determination system we call haplodiploidy uh, we can find uh, in bees and wasps uh, when if uh, insect uh, is diploid so has two sets of chromosomes this insect would be female and if has uh, one set of chromosomes, uh, this insect would be male. So this system we can find in wasps and uh, honeybees. And today I want to talk about uh, another interesting system of uh, sex determination that is environmentally influenced. And uh, many of you remember this um, movie about... Uh, small fish Nemo, uh, who lost his mother and was raised by his father. And actually, uh, what would happen in this situation? As you know, a uh, clown fish lives in anemone. Uh, this is a um, sea animal that were uh, called after terrestrial plant. And uh, this clown fish usually uh, lives close to uh, this animal because it gives a protection because this animal uh, has uh, poison that can sting uh, many of the uh, sea animals but uh, clownfish uh, developed system uh, which allows it to live uh, with this animal in uh, symbiosis and uh, not affected by its poison. So whenever we find the school of this fish, the biggest fish would be female. And the next biggest would be male. And the rest would be uh, much smaller and this much smaller fish uh, would be considered uh, hermaphrodites because uh, this undifferentiated fish uh, would have uh, sexual organs of both male and female. And those sexual organs would be undeveloped and only the biggest, second biggest um, fish in school would uh, develop male sexual organs and what would happen to the uh, this school if uh, female 
would dies and uh, or would be eaten by as a predatory uh, fish so in this case the second biggest fish would change its um, gene expression and would become female and second now in this hierarchy second biggest fish would become male so as you see uh, in a clownfish sex is determined by the environment so outcome of this story would be completely different from what we have seen in this movie and this uh, change of sex uh, takes about two months and it is reversible so since male becomes female it is a reversible process and uh, also this is not unique to only clownfish many other animals has a sex determination system that is influenced by environment another example would be sea turtles when sea turtle lays eggs uh, sex also would be determined by the temperature of the sand and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye